James, just to talk about your club, Connie Shamrocks, can you, it, small little village just around Kilkenny City, can you just tell us about the place? Yeah, so it's basically, as you said, it's a small, there's not even a village in it. It's, there's no real, the only focal point of the parish is the GA pitch or the church. And then after that, the, there's a pub in the GA pitch and that is literally it in the, in the parish then. So amenities are very few about the hurling, hurling pitch. So if there's not um, not many other things to do about hurl. So that's the only reaction. So you're saying the, the the one pub in the town is actually in the grounds yeah, of the GA field? Yeah, it's a clubhouse in Connie, yeah. So that's where everyone, if they're going to be playing cards on the Monday night or doing the lotto or whatever they're doing, that's the where they're going to be doing is in the GA club. So that's the focal point of the of the parish. All right. And, you know, when you were growing up, was it hurling, hurling, hurling with you? Is that what you always aspired to do? Yeah, exactly. I say I, since I was out with my nappies, I had hurling my hand already. So I remember Connie got to the Club All Ireland in 2008, and I was about nine, nine years of age when that happened. So that really did instill a, a dream of mine to someday play in Crow Park and wear your club jersey in, in Crow Park or your county jersey in Crow Park. And... It's something that I've always was inspired to from that day. So yeah, it's been hurling, hurling non-stop since that since that moment. Sorry. Right. So that that final was uh, two thousand eight against Castle Pollard at Westmead. Are there many of that panel that are still involved now for this All Ireland? Yeah, there's a uh, there is our foot our current full back or current centre back or current full forward, and then there's three or four others then that are on the, that were on the panel that are subs today and. Yeah, so there's a good strength there of lads that are left on, and then our manager played full back, full back back then. So there is a lot of experience still left from that panel. So, which we do have a lot of younger lads as well. So there is a mixture of youth and experience on the team. So, getting that bonded together was our ultimate goal from the start of the year. Was getting everyone playing in the one way and playing together. And I say this group has never been as more tight knit than it is now at the moment from the journey we've been on in Leinster and and all our, the all earn campaign and. Every match we've got we've got better and we've competed better and every match we've improved and everyone has got closer and it's just now we're getting a, another result on the day and just getting a job job done. It's only another match at the end of the day. What what job like you said, your manager Paul Buggy, he was involved in that team in 08. What what has he done this year to, to take you this far? Uh certainly Paul is a very passionate man and he would do anything for the Conaghy Conaghy team like he lives breeds and eats nothing but Connie and sometimes people might take that in the wrong opinion but he has the best intentions at heart all the time and he he will get everyone trying roll in the one boat and certainly we we have Dermot Healy there on board as a coach as well this year he would have managed awfully back in the 1980s and he's the wealth of experience and one of the thing was one of the thing that he really harped on to us this year was to keep the simple things right, like your touch, your everything moving fast, the ball, direct ball, like typical Kilkenny hurling, getting the ball as quick as possible into your full forward line and let that take care take care of yourself. Because if you put the backs under, keep putting them, p- pumping ball and ball and in, you'll eventually get scores away from it. So that has been our most successful part of today was developing a style of hurling that produces, produces scores from our full forward line. So. Um, Nicky Brennan is probably the most famous son of Connie Shamrock, you know, former Kilkenny player, manager, GA president as well. Is, does he have much involvement? Would you see him around the place a lot? Certainly, yeah. He, whether he's not, whether he's talking to the lads or doing a local radio for Kilkenny, Kilkenny Future Radio, he certainly is always there. He'd be walking the walking the track around the pitch when we're training. He'd always have some sort of involvement there. His nephews would be playing, talking out, talking out on on the week at the weekend coming and. He's something that is, you'd be very proud to say that Nicky was from Connaughty. Like he's done so much for the club. Back in 2008, he was he was lucky enough to be present at the time when Connaughty won the Junior All Ireland. So it was what I say one of his proudest mo- moments of his life was handing over a cup to Connaughty man. And look, he'll be. Hopefully, we can uh, repeat something that happened that day on, on Saturday and make him a proud man. But not only him proud, but every other Connaughty man and woman proud. And hopefully, that's the end goal. What about the the uh, the fact that you didn't actually win the Kilkenny title, you lost, you lost the county final to O'Loughlin Gales' second team. Was it hard to recover from that? Or, and why do you think that it didn't happen that day for you? Yeah, so I, during the Kilkenny Championship, we played our best best of hurling. We won a very tight match against Munkine and, and then Slieru. And then into the county final, we just... It, it, it was a very strange match. Like we got off to a brilliant start. We were seven points up at one stage, and everything everything looked perfect. Like it was plan was going ahead, and we were moving the ball quick. I don't know whether we sat back or 
just didn't bring the same intensity or I don't know what exactly happened for the remainder of the match. But look, well, Lachlan's weren't are certainly not a bad team. They have got a wealth of experience. There's lads that were coming off the bench that day that hurled that were on an under twenty Kilkenny panel, and that's their second team. Like that just shows the strength and depth that they have. Like, and there I say, not one person on that panel didn't play minor or under or under twenty one with Kilkenny in the past, and like they were a very good team. Like, and they're huge and their pace kind of caught us at the end. And I don't know whether it was we sat back after getting a lead or whatever happened. We just we just didn't play to a full 60 minute performance and that's going to catch you every day you have to play for the full 61 62 mm -hmm. minutes and something that we've been trying to create ever since like was get a performance out of ourselves and hopefully now we do do it now on saturday and that's in the past now and we're only in a minute win a mentality from now on so hopefully now we get a win now so. what was it odd trying to turn around and enter a leinster championship after after a defeat yeah we knew that was that was Look, that wasn't the plan that we wanted was to come in defeat when we knew that was plan B. But we looked at it like and said, realistically, like you have a Leinster Championship to to play, and you have, and if you win that, because Kenny teams in the past have been very successful there, and you have an All Ireland Championship to play, play like, and getting a Leinster medal and getting an All Ireland medal, hope, like maybe that's not to be snuffed at. Like you could ask anyone in the world if they have a club a Leinster club medal or a Leinster all Ireland club medal they'd die for it like so we knew that was a ba not a bad plan B so like the days after the county final loss were tough and all but lads kind of got over it quick enough and our manager got us back down together and got us all rowing in the wrong boat and we kind of gave it everything then from that moment on from the very first match we played in Leinster we've been nothing but improving ever since and in especially in we played very well in the all Ireland semi-final and hopefully now we can bring it again and forget that because because we're not about winning mentality from now on so what was it what was the feeling like when you beat Bally Garrett in that Leinster final yeah it was a strange match certainly a strange match we went in 15 points up at half time and we got a burst of four goals there between I think midway through the second half and one after another and another and that was probably due to the fact that I just said we moved the ball so fast and it put their backs under pressure that we they were sixes and sevens and Something then in the second half, I know we had a, a breeze in the first half bar, right? But in the second half, it was, I don't know, whatever happened. It was kind of something similar to the county final. We took our, ha took our foot off the pedal and sat back and didn't attack the matches the same way as we did. And let them back, well, we certainly let them back in through fault of our own. Like, and certainly they, they put us under a severe pressure. But lucky enough, we stood up when in the last few minutes to show a character that was, was really admirable. That, that we came out on top then and lucky we got the win in the end and it was a graft at the end of the day and then moved on to the semi-final then we certainly we we obviously recapped on the on the f final and we said to ourselves that we can't hurl in patches we have to hurl in uh, 60 minutes and that was something that we definitely did in the semi-final so yeah so you played on Rua of Derry in the semi-final you scored 2-9 like do you do you feel the pressure like you know because you're putting up big scores you've played with Kenny underage at different grades do you feel like you kind of have to deliver in these games do you put that pressure on yourself uh no like you, you play the ball as it comes to you like and you do your best to win every ball that comes to you and look if the ball if you win it and the ball's going over the bar and everything like it's only natural like it's a game of hurling like you go out and hurl like everyone else is going to do and look something that doesn't faze me like uh, I'm captain of the team so some, you have to be a leader too like and stand up in the most important times and look whether that's going out and winning a dirty ball or winning a ball that comes in you like I know you'll get hardship off other backs and stuff but look you have to be a man up and take it because there's plenty of other people that have done it in the past and look you just have to come out in trumps and look look I hope that doesn't stop and hope that foot farm doesn't end and hopefully we get a good game out of not only yourself but the whole team like because it's a team game if you can't be just one man or play, win, play, scoring all it has to be a team game so hopefully we get a, a team performance now on Sunday. Do you have to do you have to try and close yourself off from the idea of lifting that cup and the Hogan stand or do you sort of embrace it? Look, yeah look I haven't thought about that at all now it's what I've been talking what's been going through in my head has been playing in Crow Park like playing a full 60 minute match in Crow Park and that's, that's been my dream since I was a young lad and everyone's dream is to play in Crow Park just looking at the side there today like it just looks absolutely exceptional you couldn't play any nicer place in the world like and that's the first thing I like you just go out and play it as if it's a another match and see where it takes you bring everything that you've brought to every other match before and look whether 
you come out in the losing end or the winning end and you know you're giving it all and have no regrets, look, you can't do anything more after that. And whether we come out on the winning side, look, everyone else will take care after itself. Like, you couldn't be any more proud, proud man to lift a, a cup on Saturday. So, look, we'll look, focus on the match first and then anything else that happens after is bonus. Do you think the, the parish of Connacht would explode if you won this? Yeah, look, <laughs> even after the county final, it was a fairly mad night, all right, and a mad day after. So, look, uh, hopefully if every person from the parish has been very good so far with support, like ev- everyone's been on, on the road with us so far, and we've been certainly been, uh, been, been, everyone's been supporting us so well, and hopefully I could get a support now on Saturday and hearing everyone roaring us on from the, from the Hogan stand on Saturday, so... And like your own Kilkenny aspirations, you were telling me that you, you've been in for a week before on the panel and I suppose it's a, a big aspiration of yours to get back in again. Yeah, certainly. Like, it's certainly something that I always want to do is to play with Kilkenny. Like, and that, whether it's whether what happens, t- that looks after itself. You focus on the next match and that's only what you can do. Like, you can just play the next match just in the head and, yeah, and do your best and look, whatever happens, happens after that. And look I'll have college hurling after the club is over and you just focus on the next match and look if you're playing well and you're doing everything well at, at a high level well then it should everything else should look after itself so hopefully it keeps going good yes. thanks James best of luck in the final Sorry, thanks very much thanks for watching our game don't forget to like and share the videos and if you're new to the channel hit subscribe